So, welcome ladies and gentlemen to a special video today, which is going to be Dhara Karka through houses. What is Dhara Karka? Dhara Karka is a planet that has the lowest degree. Okay, so between zero and 30th degree, whichever one is closest to that zero degree point, like you are born at zero zero uh, point uh, 39 arc minutes of let's say Scorpio sign your sun is there and all the other planets are at 6 degrees 8 degrees 12 degrees 25 degrees so if sun is that closest point to zero then that becomes your Dharakarka and in my particular scheme I don't use the 8 Karka system I use the 7 Karka system but if you use the 8 Karka system you can do that this is again, for those of you who don't know, this is Jaimini concept. This is Jaimini astrology. Um, it was pretty much given by Rishi Jaimini. And so, you know, um, some people have different variations of calculating Padhas, Arudha Lagnas, Swamsa Lagna, you know, um, all these things. Uh, like you, you'll, you'll go to, uh, you know, Dehradun, you'll find a different version of Germany. You'll go to Andhra Pradesh, you'll find different version of Germany. You go to South, you'll find different version of Germany. That's just the part of the game. You're going to find that discrepancy wherever you go. In any subject, actually. So, Dharakarka represents... See, we know Dharakarka as the spouse. Is the person you go to sleep with. It is that person that has that control within your life or what control they have in your life. What part of your life that that Dharakarka is here to control. But you will also see something about Dharakarka. See, just like Atmakarka is the highest degree, right? It's kind of like up high, north. So it becomes like Rahu like north node of the moon south which is dhara karka becomes ketu so atma karka is here to achieve something right it has to deal with responsibility of something and dhara karka is something that is already connected with the past it is destined with the past so it's, it has that Ketuian energy. Ketuian. That's, that's a new word. Um, and then what is also, Dharakarka is, represents the seventh house energy, right? So seventh house is not just a spouse. It's whoever comes in front of you. Whoever comes in front of you is going to be um, Dharakarka-like individual. Because Dara Karka is the seventh house energy. So when you have customers in front of you, they'll be Dara Karka like individuals of your life. When you have a one on one um, communication with your psychologist, your doctor, they're not only going to be the seventh house individual, seventh lord individual, but they represent also that Dara Karka energy of the seventh house. And then you will see that somehow the Dhara Karka individual, especially your spouse, whichever house it placed in, okay, those are the karmas you're going to be seeking to pay off with this person. And that is also the house that they will control. Or you will have to give them control of that house. So for example, Dhara Karka is sitting in the ascendant. You're going to give your decision making to your spouse. Okay. Your life's decisions will be focused on your spouse. Will be like if, you're, if the friends ask you, hey, let's go to this party this Friday or let's go to Vegas this Friday. I'm like, okay, let me ask my wife. And if the wife says, no, we have to do this and that, the, the spouse will be like, okay, yeah, sorry guys, we have to go do this, this and this. And then we're going to be doing this, this, and this. So it's, it, they, 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 
they naturally and the thing is the, the when dhara karka is in the ascendant this person actually wants especially with benefic planets would want to give that control to the spouse with malefics they're going to feel forced to give that control in their life then if that dhara karka goes into the second your spouse is going to be controlling that bank account whether it's the seventh lord in the second or dhara karka in the second your food habits your food habits what you eat how you deal with your family members how you deal with your bank accounts is going to have to be given responsibility to the spouse dhara karka is going to be taking care of that at the same time with the third house your travel plans are going to be made decision by your spouse the way you communicate and who you communicate with whether in person or online is going to be made that decision by your spouse you can't just freely communicate with everyone until that approval of the spouse is there spouse is somehow also going to be intervening between you and siblings you may make your spouse the um what do you call a mediator between you and them your spouse is the one that is going to be engaging with neighbors more more than you because they are taking that responsibility of your house if dhara karka goes into the fourth when you buy a home the decision of the spouse is going to be of the dhara karka will be there everything in the home gets controlled by the dhara karka everything related to the beautification of the home happens to dhara karka but then also what happens is this person's happiness comfort absolutely changed through marriage whether good or for bad we have to see what planet is the dhara karka who is surrounding that dhara karka planet but that happiness is going to shift as soon as this person gets married doesn't matter if your seventh lord is in the seventh house or seventh lord goes into the eighth house okay or your venus is somewhere else and seventh lord is somewhere else but the dhara karka the planet with the lowest degree in the fourth is going to be determining immediately how this fourth house of happiness is going to operate for you and perhaps that happiness will come through either giving away responsibility on your own or being forced to give away that responsibility and of course when seventh or or the dhara karka is in the fifth spouse is simply is focused on wanting to have children raise children okay but also all your entire intelligence is going to be controlled by the spouse whatever the spouse says yes that is correct even though it's not you will somehow find the way to be for that to be correct and i also when it comes to like the education of the children perhaps what you should be uh learning for your own self maybe you want to go for mba those decisions will also be mainly controlled by the spouse and like i told you depending upon that benefic or malefic of the planets you'll actually enjoy you'll love the fact that your spouse just made this decision for you or you'll just feel like ah oh, Yes, of course she's going to make this decision or of course he's going to make this decision for me. And if I don't do this then we're going to get into argument, we're going to get into fights. Okay. Dhara karka in the 6th. Okay. Spouse will be taking care of your enemies. Spouse will take on the responsibility of all your enemies. Enemy shows up, she's the one or he's the one's going to open the door first. but can the spouse themselves become the enemy not necessarily because here's it's about the responsibility so 
the dhara karka individual will take on the responsibility of your debts they will take on the responsibility of your work and routine meaning your husband or your wife will make sure hey did you take your laptop back did you take your lunch did you take this did you take this particular vitamins with you for so you can have them at lunch they take that responsibility in your life just like you as the atma karka in the last video you took on some responsibility now the dhara karka is coming to take on that response some responsibility within your home seven thousand dhara karka there the business decisions will be made through the spouse and of course everything related to marriage like especially when dhara karka is in the seventh house you will see this individual whenever dhara karka is in the seventh or trying from the seventh actually this person can't live without either a relationship or their spouse like even especially um you will see with dhara karka in the sixth seventh and twelfth house this person cannot sleep until their spouse is in the bed they will just turn around they'll feel uncomfortable until the spouse comes in okay and then spouse will also deal with your um opponents will deal will take on the responsibility of the customers you have your business i don't know why my glasses are like i'm getting new glasses but i can, this can't be this blur man my eyes cannot be this blur but anyway um you know they will deal with the customers they will suggest you things to help you to attain that higher level in your life sometimes it'll feel forced sometimes it'll be something that you will naturally get dhara karka in the 8th house they're always focused on the focused on their own family they always want to like you will see with the, the dhara karka in the 8th house the spouse will always try to spend money on the family and you may not like it you may like it you may approve of it or you may just think like oh my god all of my money that i make goes into the her her or his family and then the other thing with dhara karka in the 8th is that spouse would become nasty just suspicious always just secretly scheming something and thinking like you know you're doing something you know they're they're always in that military mode like somebody is coming to get them or somebody or or you you as the spouse is doing something whether you are or you're not they just always have that suspiciousness and they also would be very secretive about the matters matters of the marriage they will decide what matters of the marriage are told to other people other couples other friends other families dhara karka goes into the ninth house they first of all they kind of like take they take responsibility of your father but they also become your guru they become they take the responsibility of giving you wisdom showing you wisdom what type of wisdom well that is seen through the beautiful painting of the chart but see because it's your ninth house your bhagya your luck but your wisdom all that is going to be controlled by the spouse so in a way dhara karka in the ninth house is actually a essential placement for a person who needs to get married to have that bhagya kana you know start churning and the thing is um even the type of guru that may come into your life that wasn't there before but after marriage it'll be somehow be linked with your spouse your spouse even if let's say you only follow this one guru your spouse would be the one showing the showing their video to you they'll be like hey check this out look at this guru i like this guy or i like this lady and you're like oh wow yeah and then you start listening to them more and more and more and next thing you know you're meeting them and you're touching their feet so the responsibility of the guru 
was given to the Dara Karka to take care of it in your life. When Dara Karka is in the tent, spouse becomes a workaholic. Okay? Spouse becomes a workaholic. Spouse is going to be either beneficial or bringing stress in your career. Because they're, they're, they're taking on the responsibility of your work area. And that's a very sensitive area because mostly people do not like to have their work be rattled by anybody, their routine be rattled by anybody. So either that responsibility can be beneficial or it's not, and either you will enjoy it or you'll be forced into giving that responsibility. The decision of the type of company you should work for, where you should go, what you should do, the, the Dhara Karka will be deciding that for you. When Dhara Karka is in the 11th house, your social circle is going to be influenced by your spouse and your Dhara Karka. They're the one deciding what type of social circle you will have, what type of social circle you will be hanging out in, how big it is going to be or is it going to be limited. It is going to be like nothing at all. It's all going to be decided by Dhara Karka. And Dhara Karka in the 11th is now, guess what they're taking responsibility of? They are taking responsibility of your desires. Through them, the fulfillment of desires happen. And there are many ways, there's 50 different ways where the desire can be fulfilled through the spouse. Just like I showed you of how the guru comes into your life through Dhara Karka being in the ninth house. Dhara Karka in the 11th house can have your spouse can introduce you to someone through which your business flourishes, your work flourishes, and now you can get that dream car. Now you can get that dream watch or that uh, big house that you wanted. That desire is now coming true. Maybe your spouse is just reading a magazine and just says something about, you know, maybe somebody should just do this type of business. And next thing you know, you're like waking up like, wait a second, yes, somebody should do this type of business. And so now they become the catalyst of you doing that business. So now that desire can come. So they took that responsibility. Cosmos naturally gave them that responsibility. But the thing is also when the Dhara Karka is in a certain position in your home, you'll be working on fulfilling their desires, sometimes more than your own. Okay, and then they will be, f either you will love for them to show you what should you like or you'll be forced to. Meaning if you want a Mercedes Benz, they'll be like, no, 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 no. You don't wanna like that. You wanna like a BMW. You want to like a Tesla. Trust me on that. And you'd be like, yeah, that's right. I don't want to be a Mercedes anymore. I want a Tesla. Or on the other hand, you'd be like, I wanted my Mercedes, but I'm being forced to get this Tesla. Why? You see that frustration. And then when it's in the 12th house, of course, um, your sleep is completely controlled by the spouse. You will see with Dhara Karka in the 12th, a person cannot sleep until the Dhara Karka is in bed with them. They are the one who always initiate the pleasures of the bed. They were the one who control how often you can get the pleasures of the bed. How you can get the pleasures of the bed. What are the rules and regulations of the pleasures of the bed? And including the expenses that happens, either, so Dhara Karka will be controlling expenses, but don't think of control as contraction only. Like, well, they're going to be controlling my expense. No, they just took a control of this department of expense. Perhaps ex expense increases. The responsibility is to increase your expenses or the responsibility is to control and shun your expenses. So whatever money is being spent is going to be controlled by the Dhara Karka. And you're going to have to, again, I, I'm repeating this, so you know, either you will give this responsibility happily 
or you feel forced. That's the difference that happens. Your investments, because 12th house is investments. Dharakarka will make that responsibility and that decision. What investments should be made, what investments should not be made. Okay, so this is about responsibility. Your seventh lord could be in the fourth house. It may not show responsibility. It may just show your spouse likes to be home. Your spouse wants to uh, work from home. But they're not caring about taking responsibility. The responsibility is happening through that dharakarka. Okay. So, like I said, we're going to get into the karka series or like sun as atma karka in the first house and all of that. So, that's going to come in once I finish my moon, um, moon Rahu and moon Ketu series of conjunction, then I'll bring this. Otherwise, it's just going to be too much. So anyway, guys, uh, if you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss these type of videos in the future. And remember, my Nandi Nari course is uh, currently happening on Maghavitik Astrology Academy, so for which the link is in the description. Or you can just go here for my consultation, my books, reports, and my academy, caresastrology.com. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.